The Bag Factory Artist Studios in Johannesburg will, from the 3rd to the 24th of July, host a solo exhibition by visual artist Joe Turpin titled More Than We Can Bear. Through this project, Joe deals with the themes of memory, mourning and history in relation to the contemporary. He also aims to tap into the narratives of history, extend uh, into mythology and stories exploring personal identity, culture and oneness. And uh, Joe joins us now on Zoom to tell us more about the inspiration behind this body of work. Joe, a very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you for having me. Good morning to you and good morning to our viewers this morning. Let's talk about uh, more than we can bear, what that is all about. What really inspired you to go for it? Um, well, I think it was the, the pandemic, the current situation that everyone in the world has had to face. Um, in addition to that, I'm very interested in history. I studied history and um, looking at history helps me to make my artwork. Um, and oftentimes history can be very painful. And um, we're currently in... Uh, a very painful contemporary present with this pandemic. Um, so more than we can bear is about uh, our capacity as, as human beings on what we can take and what happens when history and the contemporary is more than we can bear. So it comes from the situation we find ourselves in. Okay. Now, just unpack for us the processes that went into producing this project. Um, well, I was on an artist residency with the Bag Factory for one year, um, from June 2020 until this month in 2021. And um, I wasn't really making a body of work with a, a set theme, with one theme in mind. I was kind of approaching each work um, differently. Um, but a lot of my feelings um, in this painful time, such as losing people to, to COVID-19, such as studying painful histories of uh, migration or persecution, colonialism, etc. Um, that's kind of what informed um, how I approached making paintings or installations or sculptures. Mm. Um, so they, they deal with a very loaded and painful history as well as the present. Now just give us a visual tour of uh, what art patrons can expect to experience when they come, when they come through to view this body of work. Um, well, there'll be... A baker's dozen number of works, um, so 13, 12 plus one. Um, most of them are painting based, um, but some of them are mixed media installations or expanded paintings. So they are paintings that have sculptural objects or elements extending from them as part of the same artwork. And um, they are ranged from very small in size uh, to very large in size. So it is a very diverse uh, body of work, very colorful. Um, obviously, don't want to give too much away in case yeah. people want to visit the bag factory. Indeed. And you also work in expanded painting and mixed media installation, isn't it? So uh, where you extend the canvas and, the, uh, and mix different elements together. Speak to us more about this. Well, that started when I was still studying fine art at, at Witz in Johannesburg. Um, I felt like as much as I respect and am passionate about painting as art practice, uh, that I needed to do something a bit more than that, that I needed to experiment, as it were. Yeah. Um, so to remain painting, but to do something else in addition to that, um, became quite an interesting project as I was leaving art school. And I'm still kind of resolving how to make my work in a cohesive way. But I've never abandoned painting by itself. So some of the works are just painting on canvas. You've also participated in a variety of uh, group, exhib group exhibitions, I beg your pardon. Now speak to us about uh, what that experience was like and what it taught you about the industry and uh, what it taught you about uh, yourself as an artist. Uh, well, I think that um, putting yourself out there as an artist and um, trying to market yourself and network with people having group exhibitions or being invited to participate in them is a good way for young emerging artists who don't have a single gallery um, to, to call yourself an artist, to practice, to live as an artist, as it were. Um, so there have been a variety of um, more informal but also more commercial spaces in Johannesburg that have in the past uh, couple of years invited me to, to show with them. And um, it's very interesting to see your work alongside that of 
many other artists. Uh, most of the group shows that I've had the opportunity to participate in, um, it's been a very diverse range of artists from all backgrounds who, whose work has been part of the same show. And some of the shows deal with that, um, relating each work to, to one another. And I think that's a, a, a beautiful thing. And I suppose then that this uh, exhibition is a reflection of what we're going through because, uh, you know, clearly South Africa and the rest of the world are going through the most. So after viewing this exhibition, what are the kinds of conversations that you're hoping art patrons will have? Um, well, I think that looking at the work should imbue the viewer with um, a feeling of connection in some way. I'm very interested in... in producing work that any viewer can relate to, even if they also learn about something new, that there's also something that, that they could pick up on. Um, so I think there's also enough things that divide us um, in the world, in South Africa, in Johannesburg. Um, and it's, it's about seeing one another in an element of oneness that I can relate to this, but I'm also not excluded from that in the same way. Um, so it's it's just about trying to find connections between people and, um, yes, I suppose, approaching themes like history and identity and the present times in a manner that is quite sensitive. So is your work abstract or is it simple enough to sort of spark relatability uh, from within the, the patrons that are viewing it? That's a very interesting question. Um, some of the works may seem abstract, but in the traditional art sense, they're not abstract paintings. There are recognizable elements, figures, um, stories, settings, as it were, in the artworks that people would be able to, to recognize things in the paintings and the sculptures, definitely. Okay. All right. Now, give us more details on the exhibition for those that are interested in coming through. Right. Well, um, it's opening on Saturday, the 3rd of July, which is next Saturday. It's at the Bag Factory Artist Studios, which is in Fordsburg, near Newtown in Johannesburg. Um, and it's running until the 24th of July. There's a walkabout uh, with me, the artist, on the 17th of July, which is two weeks after the opening. And all uh, COVID preventative measures will be adhered to. So please don't come if you're symptomatic, if you're showing symptoms. But if you're not and you have a mask and you're willing to keep some distance, it is quite a large space and there will be an outdoors opening as well. So ventilation and everything. Um, and if you, yeah, if you want to come and see some, some artwork. All right. Prajo, great chatting to you, man. Thank you so much for joining us. And keep Thank safe. you, Simpiwe. You too. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. That was Johannesburg-based visual artist Joe Turpin and we're just in conversation with him about his forthcoming solo exhibition at the Back Factory Artist Studios titled More Than We Can Bear.